i now we are going to learn addition and subtraction of unlike fractions so before we start for addition and subtraction of unlike fractions let us first revise our concepts regarding addition and subtraction of like fractions so when we were supposed to add 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 what we were doing we were writing the denominator as it is and we were adding the numerators right so this was giving us 2 by 2 or one whole right or when we were adding 1 by 5 to 2 by 5 plus 4 by 5 again we were doing the same thing what we were doing we were writing the denominator as it is and then we were adding the numerators right and 1 plus 2 plus 4 will be 7 and denominator will be 5 right so this is what we were doing when we were adding like fractions like fractions are the fractions which have equal denominators like in this example all the fractions have denominators as 5 right so they are like fractions here we had denominator as 2 so these were also like fractions and similarly if we were supposed to do 4 by 5 minus 2 by 5 again we were doing the same thing we were writing the denominator as it is and then we were performing subtraction among numerators which will be equal to 2 by 5 now you remember how we did subtraction and addition of like fractions so what we do in unlike fractions suppose we have few unlike fractions like 1 by 3 plus 1 by 2 if we want to add these two fractions what we do the only method is write down the fractions and then convert them into their equivalent fractions and what were equivalent fractions equivalent fractions for the fractions which have the same value as original fractions like if I have 1 by 3 we can find the equivalent fractions of 1 by 3 by multiplying numerator and denominator by the same number so the equivalent fractions for 1 by 3 will be if I multiply numerator and denominator by 2 we will get 2 1s are 2 and 2 3s are 6 and if I multiply them by 3 we will get 3 1s are 3 3 3 is a 9 and if we multiply by 4 we will get 4 1s are 4 4 3 is a 12 and if we multiply by 5 we will get 5 1s are 5 5 3 is a 15 so all these are equivalent fractions for 1 by 3 and similarly we can find the equivalent fractions for 1 by 2 also so if I multiply 1 by 2 by 2 in the numerator and 2 in the denominator we will get 2 1s are 2 2 2 is a 4 3 1s are 3, 3 2 is a 6 and if I multiply by 4 we will get 4 1s are 4, 4 2 is a 8 and if I do by 5 we will get 5 1s are 5, 5 2 is a 10 right so these are the equivalent fractions for 1 by 2 right and to convert 1 by 3 and 1 by 2 into like fractions what we have to do we have to write their equivalent fractions in such a way that they have equal denominators right so here we have 6 and here also we have 6 so these two 3 by 6 and 2 by 6 are like fractions where 2 by 6 is equivalent fraction for 1 by 3 so I'll write it in place of 1 by 3 so we will get 2 by 6 over here and the equivalent fraction for 1 by 2 which has denominator 6 is this 3 by 6 so in place of adding 1 by 3 and 1 by 2 we can add their equivalent fractions which are 2 by 6 and 3 by 6 respectively right and now we can do the same thing isn't it we can add these two and what are we going to get again write down the denominator as it is and then add their numerators so 2 plus 3 will be 5 and denominator will be 6 
So if we add 1 by 3 and 1 by 2, we are going to get 5 by 6 as the result. Right? And the similar thing can be done in the case of subtraction also. Like if I want to subtract 1 by 3 from 4 by 5, what will we do? We will write equivalent fractions of 4 by 5 and 1 by 3. So equivalent fractions for 4 by 5 will be if we multiply them by 2 we will get 8 by 10 and if we multiply by 3 we will get 4 3s are 12 and 5 3s are 15. If we multiply by 4 we are going to get 16 by 20 right and so on and if we try to find the equivalent fraction of 1 by 3 this will be if we multiply by 2 we will get 2 by 6 3 by 9 4 by 12 and 5 by 15 and 6 by 18 right and so on but here we have got two like fractions where the denominators are 15 this one and this one so, instead of finding the difference of 4 by 5 and 1 by 3, we can find the difference of 12 by 15, which is the equivalent fraction of 4 by 5, and 5 by 15, which is the equivalent fraction of 1 by 3, right? And how we do it? Write the denominator as it is and perform the subtraction among numerators. So this will be 12 minus 5 is 7 by 15, right? So the difference of 4 by 5 and 1 by 3 is 7 by 15, right? So how are we doing it? Yes, we are actually converting the fractions into like fractions and then we are performing addition and subtraction, right? This conversion into like fractions can be done by using LCM also. LCM actually gives us the minimum denominator which converts the given fractions into like fractions, right? And then we can perform the addition and subtraction. So after this, we'll be having few more examples where we'll be using LCMs to convert the fractions into like fractions.